Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to Gear City, uh, where uh, we're head above water. Just about head above water, and that's uh, that's all solidly good. Oh no, no, it to totally is. Um, I, I was just poking around the uh, the magazine here, and I, I went, oh, let's have a look at superlatives. And uh, the big talk, Bad Boys CXL Zesty. I'm familiar, I'm familiar with that one. Uh, is the tallest car currently on the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, 185 centimetres. That's... It's over six feet tall. Uh, that's that's pretty pretty good stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've made a just made a tall, uncomfortable car. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at the awards. Uh, best sports, you know, best coupe. We're not even the best coupe. That's the Belez Sea Lion. Uh, stuff you, the Belez Sea Lion. Yeah, we don't even get a mention in any of the best ofs section as well. And I was I was rather hoping we might get a nod in there somewhere. But we've we're, we're on our original car, and it's a load of rubbish. We knew this uh, already, and uh, and all we're trying to do at the moment is uh, is pull together enough uh, cash to be able to start researching our own gear, uh, because that will that will then allow us to be you know head and shoulders ahead of everybody else probably. Um, we sold fifty four in October. Uh, off a production run of 30, which is good, uh, and then holding 73 in reserve means that I can offset that for a little while, which hopefully should keep the cash flow going where it is. I've got 40 grand in the bank. I'd like a little bit more, so I'm going to run one more month, uh, and then I'm going to do what many people have been suggesting I do for a little while now. Uh, I sold another 52 in, in November. Okay, the production rate is still solid. Uh, 50 still in reserve, so I can do that for another two months. Let's get to work. Now we're gonna we're gonna cheese this. This is what I would determine as cheesing it. Uh, we shall go to outsourcing, and we shall outsource the entire vehicle. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, the, the actually the big pork pork Desti. How much do you wish to charge per unit? Eighty grand signing fee. I, I'm going to go down a minute. In fact, I'm going to undercut this. I'm going to let other people knock off my vehicle if they feel like it. We'll go 79 uh on the signing fee. And uh, and for royalties, we'll go for 90 quid a vehicle. Yeah, but we'll see. I don't know if anybody's going to take it or not. But hey, if they want it, I will ship it. It's awful, but they can have it if they want what I'm looking for, though, all companies, yeah, vehicle type, Phaeton, apparently, they sell like absolute bilio early on, uh, and therefore, I should uh, I should make it happen. Right, you've got the Burley Bentley. Yes, what's this got going on? Plenty of handling, yeah, yeah, safety, fuel. I think my, my resistance to Phaetons, you know, is that I've no idea what I... F I wouldn't know a Phaeton if I tripped up... If I was hit by one, I'd have, I'd have no idea that I'd have gone... It's a car... But I uh, said, yeah, that's, you know, that's uh, neither here nor there. Right, this is less good, is it? I disagree. I think this is a better car. Uh, handling is the same. Performance is better. Luxury is better. Yes. Safety is better. And, and the quality is better. Fuel is one point... Uh, no, no, no. Fuel is oh, one point worse on the fuel. Okay, what about you? You're not as good. I think we take the, the Durac and it. Now, it's slightly more expensive to produce, and uh, and the developer, God bless him, has been uh, has been dropping into the chat uh, after each of these videos, offering myriad hints, tips, and advice on how I can do better. Regrettably, of course, I always ignore hints, tips, and advice on how to do better because uh, I'm playing it the way that I want to play it. Not the, not the way it should be played, which is why I keep going bust, I imagine. But no, you play it however you like. I shall do the same, and maybe there will be a collision of interest at some point in the future. So the Durac, it's going to cost me 47 large to sign it in the first place. It's 810 to produce, which means it's it's one of the most expensive. Yeah, but I want to I want to knock out a few of these, and this is the best car. I'm doing it. I'm going with the best one. More expensive though it may be, I'm going to go with the or do we just go absolutely cheap as chips? Uh, what's the difference? I see. I don't, stop being indecisive. Just do it. It's got good handling. Yeah. What's the and yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, are we talking notably? But the luxury is a whole extra half star. D 
do it. All right, okay, done it. I have, I've licensed the Jurac, uh, right, which means I'm now, I can now, I believe, design vehicle assisted coupe, no, no. Does that mean I can just go make it straight away? I don't know, maybe, let's have a look. I don't want to call it the Jurac, whatever it is. I want to call it the uh, the Bonanza Filipino, uh, just for reasons. Uh, can I, right, but no, I don't want to build a new, just come on, it's like you've forgotten how to play the game. Oh, maybe I have. Oh, no, it's cute. Clicked on Detroit, you clown. Uh, Chicago is where your factory is. Yeah, all right, okay. Uh, also, I'd like to point out in advance right now, I have ever such a slight amount of yellow green color blindness, and these dots, they all look very similar in color. Um, right, okay, so yes, this, right, yeah, production. Uh, oh, this is the big talk Volador. Yeah, I know. Swanky, huh? Uh, production lines. Yeah, bang out a load of them. I've got the money. I can afford to... We're going to we're gonna knock out 64 of these very poor cars. There you go. The, the synonym for a very poor car. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, slap out as many as you can. I'll go and... Uh, I'll go set up some, some distribution. Uh, right, the branch. Yeah, distribution. The, the big talk Volador is... Costing me 810 now, obviously, there's no transport cost to here. I think if we could probably do it at, ooh, 1,200 quid, I think I think you're doing yourself short. You're, you're recommending 1,700. I think we can go under that. I think we can do 1,450. Uh, and if we sell the lot, then I will, uh, I'll up the price. See, that's, that's the way that we do these things. The Volador, what kind of a name is that? No, uh, I, I don't. Don't even believe it. Maybe this would be quicker from the mega menu. It would. Where is the mega menu? It's down here, isn't it? Is it one of these? What's that button do? Not that one. What's it? This button? No. This one? No. That one isn't. The me oh, it's in the office. Right, it's here. There. There you go. See, I knew where it was. I just didn't know where it was. Uh, branches, C. Uh, uh, apply to all. Uh, this one. Apply to all. You think? I don't know. Well, look. There you go. Detroit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. And I'll tell you something else. What we'll do here, actually, is we'll... Uh, there's 52 bucks in uh, transport costs for these. So I will up the price. And this will be uh, 15.10. Yeah, I know. Tax. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll just have to live with it, New York. Uh, Philadelphia, transport cost 44. This will be 1,500. No, no, no. 14.99. You've got to put it at a consumer-friendly sales point. Uh, as Chicago we've done, and then Detroit is 15 quid. Uh, you can probably have, let's go uh, 15 65. All right. I tell you, it's either going to work or it won't. Uh, let's wait and see if we get a really large and exciting number here. Yeah, do me. It. Or me, either. Cash flow, minus five grand. That's acceptable. We sold all of them. We missed 1,200 sales. Um, okay. Yeah. Now, given that we sold through everything, I'm listening, I would say, go for it, we didn't charge enough. Yeah, where else did I, where else did I burn money this time around? It's, I mean, your distribution costs weren't negligible. Uh, we're talking labour costs of 11,000, distribution costs of 24k. That sounds like a lot. It does. All that, all, I mean, it's off sales of, of 217,000. Uh, this is a, this is very much a positive, um, because, uh, what I could do is produce a load more of them. <laughs> yeah, I could do that, but I'm not going to. No, I'm going to, uh, go, no, go back to branch, please. No. Don't forget all of it. Go back to the mega menu. Do it all in one place. All right, Chicago. The Volador. Actually, hold on. Give me the give me the sales report. I want to see what it's what it sold and where. Give me that. Right. Sales. We sold all of them in New York. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Oh, oh no, we would have sold five hundred in Chicago. Hmm. Okay. Right. No, thank you. That was a useful report, and I read it. Uh, so we will now go back to the mega menu, and let's crank. Let's crank the numbers. Uh, we can't produce any more than we're producing right now. Should you uh, maybe drop 
the uh, Big Boy Talk Bad Boys CXL Zesty? No. Heck no. Um, well, what should you do? Well, I'll tell you what we should do is just, just bump the price, man. Um, okay, right. Well, if we were to slap on an extra 200 quid, we will erode some demand. And at the same time, we will slap on an extra 300 quid. I think, uh, I think the market can afford it. Uh, we'll go, uh, yeah, apply that. Slap 300 quid on everything. Yeah, I know. I, I, even though my margins are up, I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to ignore the shipping costs. Lorks, no, uh, no. We will, we will be very much not ignoring the shipping costs. Seventeen. What did I say? Ninety-nine. Yeah. Is that right? Sure. Uh, and uh, that's that's New York. In fact, no. You know what? New York's full of people who've got money. Eighteen ninety-nine. Yeah. You want it cheaper? Go to Chicago. Right, and then in Philadelphia we'll make that uh, adding three hundred that's seventeen ninety nine to you, Gov, and in fact to everyone, Gov. Right. Evidently the price was right as far as the punters were concerned. The question is, have I now set the prices right as far as my balance sheet is concerned? Yes, please. Money. All right, we made ninety grand. How many missiles did we get this time round? Six hundred and eighty five. Well, I'll be. Um, good. Well, we got that right then. Yes, we certainly did. Uh, 90 grand's not a lot, though. I mean, we could be making a heck of a lot more than that. Now, reconning my, uh, my factory, uh, is, uh, is not going to be easy. Can I, if we upgrade it, yeah. Upgrade cost, 778,000. Yeah, I see, I'm, I'll be honest, no. Okay, what about opening a new factory? You're still, that's still beyond your cash flow at the moment. Yeah, good point. Well played, yeah. Uh, production on, oh, we've got 22 reserves of the bad boy left. Yeah. You should probably evaluate whether the bad boy is, is giving you a better RO, uh, ROI. Ah, that's a, that's a notion. Uh, material cost of fifteen hundred. I'm selling it at twenty six, so it's eleven hundred markup on the uh, on the cost of manufacture. Is it? Uh, yes. Is that what you're selling it at though? Uh, branch. Talk to me. Distribution. Twenty six fifty. Yeah. Is yeah. That is is virtually a thousand dollar markup on the uh, on the price of uh, unit. This. At 17 is also almost a thousand dollar markup, and I can shift as many as I can make. Leave it as is; it's fine. No, I mean you can't you can't make it work any harder at the moment. I think uh, we've got two choices open to us now. We either ride this uh, this this cowboy. Do you ride a cowboy? If you ask him nicely, uh, we either ride this cowboy uh, for the for the duration of its uh, of its rodeo and uh, and hopefully up the tempo on the factory yeah another fact how about opening a factory in detroit just just for the sake of argument how much will that cost me uh factories yeah uh production capacity what are we looking at already 400 grand i see yeah technology lamp it up so ex estimated production of 112 yeah, production capacity in terms of lines. Oh, mama. Yeah, you could be knocking... That's five million quid, son. I mean, that's a... It's a lot. And it's not going to be ready for a couple of years yet. You know what I say? Now is not the time. So what do you want to do? I want to start r and my own car. That's just throwing money away. Yeah. Well, it's not, but it is... Um, ah, tricky. And it's tricky because I'm now in a position where what is going to be my move to hopefully dominate the market in a more significant fashion uh, with the next thrust of opportunity? Now, you've got a big thrust of opportunity going on right now, and therefore, oh, hold on, let's talk to the, uh, let's talk to the bank. Oi, oi. Uh, right. Uh, do I do you owe, do I owe you anything at the moment? Bank loan. Yes, I do. I owe you forty six large at fourteen percent interest. Where's repay now? Payback. 
No, obviously I need to slide something first before I do that. Uh, bank loan. I want to. I want to pay it back, please. Loans. Yes. Uh, outstanding bonds. No, 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 no. Right. Can I? How do I highlight it then pay back? Thank you. Right. Cleared it. Okay. Now that gives me options. If I wanted to take another bank loan, they would now do me two hundred and thirty-nine grand. Yeah. Bonds. Meanwhile, would be. Ah, oh, 500 large. Now, that's enough for a factory. Yes. Do you understand bonds, though? No. Okay, then perhaps don't. Okay, all right. No, that's all right. Oh, the, yeah, okay. Uh, my line of credit is available, which is current. What's my overdraft? 17 and a half thousand. Okay, yeah. All right. Maybe don't. Maybe do. All right, a bank loan of 239. I bet they will lend me more if I go wrong one more turn. That's an interesting experiment. Give it a go. All right, here we go. Uh, right, 104,000 just came in. Super. And we're almost out of bad boys estos. Right. And the missed sales is just tremendous that we've got going on over there. You know, if you're still missing sales, yeah, what you should be doing is crank the price. <laughs> Uh, oh, I see. Now the, now the game has taken on a shape that I enjoy. Uh, crank the price. You can do... I reckon the market will tolerate 1850 on that. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, apply that to... No, 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 no. Do it all separately. That way you won't screw it up. If you... What? You've, you were, you've been offering it cheaper in, uh, in Detroit than you have in... Ah, whatever. Just slap another, slap another 100 on this. All right, uh, 1865. Yeah, good. Uh, same on this one. Uh, yeah, no. I see. I mean, I could, I could very easily just absorb the uh, <laughs> absorb the shipping cost. But you know what? I'm not going to do. No, that I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, uh, 1899. Just make it up. Just put in random numbers at this point. It all seems to be selling perfectly acceptably. I've now got 190 thousand in the bank, and I'm not researching anything. But I wanted to test whether they would now lend me yet more. Still only two ninety four. I think it was two eighty nine or something last turn. Right, R and D. But even if you made the best car in the world, oh hello, what we got going on here? New contract request, not interesting at the moment. Racing, not right now. Uh, we've got some new companies opened up: uh, Strong Arm Sydney, uh, McBrilza, uh, Fred Lond, and Gargol. Uh, okay, and uh, Apeson and Emperor have opened up offices in my districts. And uh, we sold 600 bad boy CXLs in uh, in 1902 and uh, 64 Volodors. That was obviously after the first month. Right, there's a new, uh, new engine layout. Yeah, right. And uh, new vehicle body types are available. The Phaeton. Well, I, I spookily... I've been knocking those out. Let's get down the R&D. Uh, right, research teams. It's time for you to wakey-wakey. Uh, to write. Research, vehicle research team. Monthly funding. Yes. Chassis. Yeah, vehicle. Uh, uh, engine. Gearbox. Right. Let's go. Uh, what do you want to sink into this? A reasonable chunk, I'll be honest. Uh, let's go for something. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like... 20-odd 20, 20 grand a month, I think, uh, will keep me chipper. And we'll wait until we've actually worked something out. And then I'll, I'll, I'll plough that into a new vehicle. And we'll do one bit at a time. That's a lot more than 20,000. Yeah. Apply. Okay. Change minus 0 0.06. That doesn't sound like what I want. What I'm after... Oh, is this giving me a, an indicator of what I'm going to learn? E mm, I don't honestly know no i don't honestly know uh, i think where you might do better would be if you were to uh, to crank the gearbox down right vehicle research down a little bit engine research up right let's start sinking 31k into engine research okay all right, and the others will keep as is. Let's see if that's done anything positive. That's gaining 0.2 per quarter, which means what? Hold on, the engine uh, research panel. 
Here are the next four unlockable subcomponents. Uh, below are the, engine, uh, the, the images on uh, required skills and unlock dates. Once you reach these milestones, the subcomponent will be unlocked and ready for use. So we'll get swing axles in 1901. Will we? I don't. I don't. Just leave it. That, sound, look, that looks like a plan. It's an expensive plan, but it is a plan. And therefore, we'll take that plan and we'll work with it. Meanwhile, I will also upgrade my factory so that we can start cranking out some more stuff. Factories. Uh, Ray conning it would cost me 40 grand, but that only gets it as good as it is right now. An upgrade is 700... Yeah. Upgrade, upgrade 389,000, which will be done later. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see. There must surely be. Oh, hold on. What about redesign? Well, you're looking at 300 plus thousand, if anything. You know what you should do? Save up enough and build a factory in Detroit. Yeah, run two factories. That way you can take one offline to start tweaking it while the other one's uh, still pumping. All right, okay, crack on. Now, our profits will be down. Uh, You think... Yeah, okay. Um hmm. Yeah, because you you burn through all of the reserves on the uh on the big talk bad boy CXL Zesty. And therefore your R and D costs are maybe a little bit flamboyant. Ha yeah, okay. Well how much do we end up down? Fifty seven thousand. Oh. Yeah. So what you're saying is my R and D costs are a lot flamboyant. Yeah. Okay, well, I can't make any more. Not at the moment. No. Now, I mean, it, that was February, right? It's a short month, so we will have sold less. But we're not leaving anything in reserve. You're selling the lot. And the price of the Volador is still meaning that we sell out and have plenty of demand going. This is this is a work of tremendous joy and beauty. Yeah, you've got to go, you've got to go and, uh, and crop your R&D down a little bit. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah, I know. Uh, right, let's drop you down to a, a more respectable 13,000. Okay. I know. I, there's, I mean, there's only so much I can, I can do here. Oh, I see. My lack of investment is dropping our design skills. Oh, crumbs. Right. Okay, well, how much do you need engine design people for me to, uh, to keep you on an even or growing keel? Uh, a fair bit. Did I have to pay tax this month? Was that maybe the cause of the uh, of the shrink in, in profits? January feels like a taxy kind of a month. Uh, so I'll just, just have a quick look at the, book, the, the books here. Total tax is 74k. Yeah, but what about last month? No taxes. You paid your tax bill. Everything's fine. Carry on. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, back to the R&D. Crank it back up again. Sorry. I oh, see, but you, you learn by doing. Uh, and therefore, I'm doing. All right. How are we looking? Plus 0.4. I don't really... 0.04. No, that's not dramatic. Yeah. And you're losing You're losing talent in a lot of different areas there. Yeah, I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. We can make a phaeton of our own right now, you know, using the stuff we've got. No, I'm going to wait for the good engine. Okay. All right. To the good engine. Okay, things are changing, and they're changing quickly, because uh, we are now into July 1903, and we're only now missing 160 sales. This Phaeton that I've been knocking out, it's starting to be a little less appealing. That's okay, we knew we, knew we wouldn't be able to ride this cowboy forever, but... We don't have left long. We don't have that long left on the clock. So we've got to be. We've got to be careful. Oh, hold. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Uh, McBrilzer have licensed the bad boy CXL Zesty. Bunch of mugs. Uh, that, that would be why this month uh, paid off quite nicely. Is it? Yeah. I reckon it probably is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's what you were just reading. Go to the uh, balance sheet. Right. Uh, it's not this month. It'll be last month then. Uh, go to previous month. I did wonder why we'd made 52 grand. Uh, and I bet it's in here. Yeah, designs revenue, 80,000. So we're going to be getting some licensing back off that. Ooh. Make the engine, yes. Then license that bad boy. 
I like it. Okay, back to the R&D department. Let's see how they're actually getting on. What's, what happens in view? Uh, engine. Not a lot. Just shows what we've got going on at the moment. The Pirate EU-1. Yeah. Also, we're basically subletting this, which is which makes me very happy indeed. Uh, now, keeping up the, uh, the, the, the details here. And yes, okay, that's how our design skill changes from quarter to quarter. Gotcha, I'm into it. Now, we need... Presumably, I haven't unlocked the U, which is why it's still listed here, because this is telling me what I'm about to unlock. What does that say? Uh, this is the required skill level needed to unlock the component. Red values mean you do not have enough skills. Green values mean you have the needed skills. As technology progresses and the designs become commonplace, the required skills for a component will decrease over time. Okay. Okay, so these are just going to unlock when I when I get past them, and presumably I need next to no skill at all in order to do this stuff. I think you're reaching. I think I'm reaching too, but uh, I know I don't have a five-speed gearbox, so that's the thing we do need. Have we got four-wheel drive, though, on the chassis? I don't know. Let's have a look. Design, chassis, uh, go assisted, and that's not helped us. It's not, has it? No, it's not. Uh, the chassis name... No, no, no. No, no, this isn't... No, this is... Mm, no, it's just... Oh, hold on. All right, so we've got carriage frame, or we could go ladder. That's modern. It is modern. Okay, but it suits a pickup truck or a compact. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure ladders were used on other vehicles and that. Uh, you've got front wheel... Yeah, we haven't got the four-wheel drive uh, yet. Ha! Okay, yeah. So, research is going to happen when it happens. Have you gone through everything else here? Uh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Gank all of that. Oh, onwards! I want to see if... Uh, come on, I want uh, I want the... Why are we now 52 in, in, in the hole? That's a good question. The Volador production has just dropped like... All of our production has dropped like a stone. I better have a memo. Uh, right, talk to me. Issue with part supply. Oh, flipping part supply. All right, that sucked. Because I was getting close to the point at which uh, I might be able to start going, yeah, 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 second factory. Uh, right, bringing in 10 grand, that's about normal. Uh, production's back up again. Not missing any fewer, any more sales. Okay, keep it going. I want to get the research in. That Because that's, that's the punchline for the episode. Yeah, 11,000. Yeah, that's good. Keep going. Wait until wait until your uh, your memo pad is illuminated. Five thousand. Yeah, you're going to pay a lot in tax here, and in fact, I think the tax is going to wipe out everything you've made in terms of profit this year. But you are sinking a bundle into R and D. Yeah, delete all of that. Uh, come on, come on. We're going to be almost there. Got to be almost there. Made twelve thousand. Yes, because we're, you know, our licensed parts, we're making we're making some good wheeze off that. 810, they're hardly selling bucket loads, are they? No. No, we're not. And the demand's dropped again. <laughs> What's wrong with my scientists? Where do you want to start? I don't know. And, uh, just tell me what's wrong with my scientists. Your sales are dropping still. Yep. Okay, it's tax month. Okay. All right, well, pay it. And... Nope, nope, nope. This is tax month. Oh, this is tax month. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah. Sales are still dropping off a little bit. Stay oh, no, hold on. What news? Okay, new contract request. No. Folding race series. That's a series that doesn't work anymore. Uh, there's a new racing series. Not into that. Uh, new competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we sold 735 Volador's. We sold 375 of the big, big talk bad boy CXL. So uh, so we're up over... Well, that's, that's almost exactly 1,100. It's 1110. Oh, yeah. Okay. New component design. Researchers have developed a new cylinders called the 15. Sadly, our designers haven't figured that out yet because we're thick. Gotcha. New vehicle body available. Sedan double duo. This is not the news I want. Give me the news I want. Dag damn it. Uh, okay. We only paid seven grand in tax. Presumably because I'm sinking so much into R&D. Ah. Yes. Ah. 
sales are dropping. No, no, sales are stabilised again. Uh, fa- oh, hold on. Uh, a recent tax audit concluded that we cooked the books for some 20000 What? Uh, the tax man is letting us off the hook by paying back taxes and a decent sized fine. This payment should come out to 36000 We've already fired everybody. Uh, well, fine. Oi, researchers, earn your salaries because you're vexing me increasingly. And I'm already thinking, what am I playing at? Look, y- the time is passing, researchers. I am sinking a ton of cash into your work and yet seeing precious... Li- Look, illuminate the pad. Let's go back to the R&D department. Research teams. Okay, yeah. Look, we've got 8.97 going on here. Yeah, that's a that's a good size number. Yeah, and they haven't come up with anything that I find in any way useful. Yes. You know, I want... All right, talk to me about the bottom question mark. The earliest year that you can unlock the component, if it's red, yeah. If it's green, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Well, where where is it? We need 9.74 in skills. Our skills... 8.97. Oh, I get it now. All right. No, I understand it now. I need to be investing a lot more to make this work. Okay, right. Well, crank all of these down. That was three and a half. That makes five. That makes five and a half. So if we take this up to about 41, 42, how's that helping? Yeah. Alternatively, you've got 200 grand in the bank. How's that helping? Not a lot. Uh, for 100,000? No, you can do one. Uh, right, stick it at 42, and uh, and let's keep going. Flipping it. Takes a long time for your researchers to do anything of any use. Yeah, but presumably over time, if, you're, if I was selling more, I could be investing more, and therefore we'd be growing faster, and therefore I should be selling more, which means I need to produce more. Right? Everybody up to speed? Yes, I thought you probably were. 253k in the bank. Let's go to the bank. Get them to give me more cash. Let's get a factory bill. Stop mucking about. Bank loan, 290,000 over 48 months. That's the most you're going to give me. Done. Right. Get to flipping work. Uh, office, yeah. Now, obviously, we're going to build this, and it's going to take a little while for it to actually get built. Yep, true enough. All right, Detroit factories. Let's build one. 400k. I've got 514. All right. Let's get the techno up. All right, how much of this are you going to spend? Uh, around the 500 mark. One line will do 69. Now, the only problem with that is it doesn't give you any flexation yeah, and it's going to take till 1906 to finish it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's six lines. But you see, six bad lines is still 2.4. Ah. So it's better to go for... It's cheaper to go for technology. Yeah, which means that one line will kick out a lot of cars. Okay, 510. I like 510. 510 is a good number. You're going to need to drop your... Build it. Yep, there you go. Uh, going to need to drop your research down a little bit, otherwise you'll be losing money every month on the loan repayment, which is about seven grand. Good, yeah. I feel like I'm on top of things. Join me next time, friends. Well, I'll have advanced things until something has started occurring. I'm not sure what it will be that has started occurring, but something will have started occurring. I'll do you one more month, just so you can see the impact that this has had. Go! Lost 14,000. Oh, why? It's hard to say for sure. Uh, maybe I had to pay me fine. Look for your outgoings. Uh, construction, 25 grand. Oh, maybe I didn't account for that. Maybe I didn't account for that. No, I'm sure I did. There's the loan repayment. Yeah, warranties have gone up a little bit. Yeah, they always will do. As you've got, As you stick more stuff in the market, you're going to be paying more warranties out. Distribution, admin, no, no, no. One-time expenses, no, there's nothing in there. Well, how is it that I increased my costs by... Do it again. Sorry, I'm going to do it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Minus 10,000. It still does not compute. I, You're paying 25,000 out in construction. 
Oh, I see what you're doing. You are eking out. We're paying uh, a little bit each month towards the construction of the factory. I thought it was all in one lump sum. Had I known that, I would have gone sooner. Oh, fine. All right, good. I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. I'll be back for more because we ain't, we're not there yet. We haven't yet to conquer the motoring world. Uh, and therefore, we should do that presently, if not sooner. So uh, I'm just going to keep pressing this button for a while and we'll see where we get to. And as long as the Volador holds up, we'll be good. If it stops holding up, I'll, I'll lease a new vehicle design and we'll, uh, we'll get to work on that. You know, you've not even adjusted the price of the Volador for, uh, for inflation year to year. Yeah, we just paid 12 grand in tax. Or is that a rebate? Looks like a rebate. Any news? Well, flash when there's news. Uh, we've done that, yeah. Contract request. Call you. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. Now then, friends, at the tail end of last year, I uh, I shut down, or rather, I was booted off the uh, the platform that I was using to to flog little bits of, of random Colonel Failure merchandise, uh, and and we only ever were talking about little bits of random Colonel Failure merchandise. So at the moment, there is there is no Colonel Failure mer merchandise available anywhere on the internet, which will come as a relief to both of you. Uh, but the question is, well, see, here's what I'm considering. What I'm considering doing is uh, is kickstarting, in all seriousness, kickstarting each, I mean, it might not be on Kickstarter, uh, but each thing that I want to make, I'll kickstart it so that it will act as a as kind of a pre-order program. And then when it's done, I'll ship them all out in one go and that'll be the last we see of that. I might keep the design to reuse later, but fundamentally, I'd, I'll do like issue numbers and stuff like that. That could be quite good fun. Um, but don't, uh, my question to you is straightforward. What do you want? Is there, any, is there anything you want? If there's nothing you want, that's fine. Um, but uh, historically, the, 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 the Colonel Fernie merchandise that I have produced has only been for my, uh, for my own personal benefit. It's because I quite wanted it. Um, and, uh, and, and that's been lovely. Uh, but uh, but other people have, have picked stuff up as well. I think Matt Mugs, actually, Mugs came about as part of a request. Uh, but where I want to get away from is that almost all of these print-on-demand type places, the the shipping costs are horrendous. Uh, so, so I would try... A, the, the reason for doing a, a kind of kickstart approach with stuff is that I can basically get all the orders up front and then... Uh, I'll know exactly how many I've got, and it means that because I know what the thing is that I'm going to be shipping, I can do a, a shipping rate chart, or I can factor it in to the to the cost overall. This isn't a money making exercise because I I simply don't do that many that many copies or something. But if I can get to the point where I can shift, you know, say say the the much awaited Colonel Failure apron cooking apron right uh were to were to become available and i could get a hundred orders in of that that'd be great i you know i could probably make a couple hundred quid profit out of that which would be lovely for me uh but it means that i could keep the price down on everything because print on the, if i do small order print runs that is still a lot cheaper i mean if you were ever if you ever buy uh, a t-shirt from spreadshirt right which is the 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 company that youtube advocate uh, for for small channels, um, if you ever buy a t-shirt through them and you kind of go flipping it and knocking these t-shirts out at twenty three, twenty four dollars, twenty twenty nine ninety nine or whatever it is, it's because the initial price that Spreadshirt offer to the creators who are making use of it is like uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen dollars per shirt, uh, and so the likelihood you you see much return on that at all is negligible. Uh, so that's why the prices are high, but it means that I could probably bring the price in or factor in shipping into the price, but either way, it should be blah, 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 blah. Interested? Hmm? Ah, comments. Ah.